All right. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Uh, I don't know why this has an exclamation point. I already went to it. I already beefed my boy up. Your boy V? My boy V. What if they called him D? I think that would be stupid. Why? Be fucking dumb. This mysterious D. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I don't know. I don't know why. They call him D the mysterious I don't. Yeah, I don't know why they decided on that letter. V? Yeah. Because it's it's on the book. That's true. I don't know. Do the thing. Oh, dude, we're slip sliding away. Got a little Check scooter. It it's like a Get little. A scoots. It's like one of those little. Uh, what are they called? Um, the little cars where like you do that. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Where's the fucking guy? Where's the bird? There he is. Why did you activate Nightmare already? Because I'm used to Dante must die mode, where they fucking have like ridiculous enemies at this point. Oh, uh, get him! But who cares? You know why? I'm gonna read this book. Oh, we're gonna get our stuff back right now. We need to get the upgrades for Nightmare so it comes out faster. Does that happen? I think so. Hmm. All right. Savage, okay. Steve. Is that it? What the fuck? Where did this guy come? Honestly, from? V is more about is is less about um, actually attacking and doing all that stuff, and more about managing. Managing shit while they're doing their thing. Yeah, I don't know. He feels very different. He feels very much like a manager. Yeah. He sits back and is like, hey, you're doing a great job. He's a hot topic manager. Oh my gosh. Make sure you're always offering for everybody to join Hot Topics Rewards Membership so they can get money back on their black t-shirts. I wish I would have. <laughs> at at right now, at this instant in time, I wish I would have worked at Hot Topic. Just, Why? Just so I can make some jokes, you know? <laughs> you make jokes? Why do you have to have work there? Because if I had jokes? insider info, I'd be able to make... What kind of fucking insider info could you possibly have? Because I've had friends that worked at Hot Topic, and they know they know the fucking stuff. Like like what? Like, what you, like what you were just saying right now? <laughs> They would they would know what promotions like to push as an example or whatever. So remember to tell them that you know band T-shirts are two for thirty dollars. Yeah, something like that. Two for thirty dollars. Dude, um, no joke. I used to love Hot Topic. That was everybody used fucking... to love Hot Topic. Fuck that thing up, dude. Fuck it up. Yeah, you know what? My boys are downstairs for some reason. You see that? This is the kind of shit I'm talking about. Like, there he is. Fuck him up. Come Fuck on. Fuck up that you can leg. Do it. Fuck up that leg, bro. Fuck up that leg. Fuck up that leg, bro. Fuck up that leg. Did it do it yet? Did it fuck the leg up? No, but you got him. It did. You got him. Break it's a, a leg. Yeah, it's a brick a leg. Get you know, all no, the orbs. You know why? You know why I know I got it because you got you popped the thing, didn't you? Yeah, that thing opens up at that amount of life when you're fighting him as Nero too. So slice and dice them. He says. I love that. He says slice. And also, slice and we have thirty percent off all bracelets. Okay, see there you go. <laughs> Now, if we if we had worked at Hot Topic, we might have better examples, you know. But... You know, what? fuck. I just... Every time somebody, every time, dude, nightmare, dude, fuck them up. Yeah, that's true. Um, anytime you come into a Hot Topic, it's kind of like with Paxos when we come in. There. Hey guys, how you doing? By the way, everything's on sale forever and ever and ever. <laughs> like... You know what's weird? Somebody the other day was telling me like, oh yeah, Paxos an expensive store. It is, dude. And I was All like, the... I, I mean, I guess, but it didn't. I walked in there and I was like, it kind of just seems like any other store in the mall. Yeah, like, but everything's like five dollars more expensive. Like, yeah, Hollis, like if you go to Hollister or something, everything's that's an like, expensive store. Yeah, yeah. Everything's ten more dollars. Supposedly the quality is so good that you don't. It's like you have this shirt; it's gonna last you nah, forever. it's just trendy. People just want. So be I said supposedly, didn't I? Yeah, that's true. Did they go to the zoo? What? Supposedly. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sure everybody but will get that. That's that's the for instance, like, oh you're you're buying quality and shit, but I don't know about that. I feel like it's the same the same shit you get everywhere else. That's why I like stores like H and M. Their sh- their shit is like flimsy, dude. It's it really like is. paper thin sometimes. I don't know why that makes you like the store, but Because they price it accordingly. Like a t shirt will be like ten bucks. I have noticed that if when I go to Forever Twenty One they have a small men's section. Uh huh. And sometimes they have like ridiculous sales on their clothes yeah and it's like it's like yeah because this clothes is gonna rip like it's gonna tomorrow. rip immediately <laughs> yeah. so that's the thing with uh h&m they're like you aren't gonna really wear these hey the little posters did i mention these posters already? yeah you did All break right. it open dude well let's enjoy the taste of whatever the fuck he just said call him uh, back i'll just leave him 
I'm sure they'll I'm sure they'll give me another orbs here somewhere. No? Bastards. Alright. You just have to beat them right now. Barbecue time. But um what was I gonna say? Something so about, something about So the H and M the stuff I like a lot because you go in there, you could spend like thirty bucks and you have a new outfit. Uh huh. And then you're like, well, I'll need to spend another thirty bucks, like in a week or so. <laughs> you sounded like an ad. <laughs> Got a new outfit. Got a new outfit. But honestly, you could go to like fucking Marshalls and do that. Dude, I was gonna say I love Ross for that, dude. Like you're when you come in such an adult state. <laughs> no, yeah. When you need when you need like basic ass shit, Ross is so good for that, dude. Oh damn up there. Like the other day, I realized I don't really have like winter clothes, and I was like, I need long sleeves. Yeah. Right. You just get them like there for like five, three dollars, dude. Oh, fuck that guy up! It's a, it's a, it's a dream. Oh yeah, these oh, guys yeah. right here. See these, see these. If boys? you ever need a, if you ever need, by the way, if you ever need a suit, I don't know why this became the consumer products. Yeah. Playthrough, but if you ever need a fucking suit, but you don't really wear suits, just go to Burlington Coat Factory. They got fucking tons of suits. Yeah, but uh, I actually went there the other day and I did get some good, some good stuff. Sure. But I was actually surprised that, like, I was like, it is kind of Steve, expensive. Steve, they're more than so. great coats. It's still, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know they're not even called uh, Coat Factory? No, they're just called Burlington now. But seriously, though, the store is fucking trash. <laughs> the Burlington by our house is garbage. Smells. <laughs> I don't know why. You know what it is? It's like people's fucking rolling around on that floor. It's the carpet that smells. I, no yeah, joke. I don't know what it is. Like, they, their fucking carpet they got on discount, too, because that shit stinks. Okay, so there is a secret mission here. Okay, get it, and I'll then we'll go back, because yes. we're not doing that shit. Yeah. Because we gotta go through you know what? stuff. What if we just did an episode where we do all the missions? Huh? Ooh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Because we ended up starting a new file on here, actually, because... Uh, because we Steve realized was, that we can. Steve was very adamant about um, don't fucking wreck the story for this. Yeah, I would. So good. I would like to have just a, you know, first time clean file, which I realized we didn't do that for DMC four, but whatever. I mean, I'm not whatever. Gonna, I'm not gonna delete my file. Yeah, I know, <laughs> right? But because we're on an Xbox, we just made a new profile, like a new... That's the power person. of the Xbox One. It's the power of the Xbox One with 4K and great 60 frames per second. You know, I say... I, I'm making a lot of just, I make a lot of jokes about that, right? Yeah. But I say the power of the Xbox One a lot, so... Yeah, well... <laughs> because, like, what you said about Hot Topic, you, uh -huh. you're experiencing it, so now you can make fun of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Steve never says the power of the PlayStation 4. <laughs> They don't have a yeah. They don't have a little fucking tagline that I can use. You know. That's true. Or, or what do they have? Uh, Play in your world. No, live in ours. No, they have so. something. They do Get have em. something. Like beyond. You got up his ass, dude. Yep. Shoved it right up his. Oh jeez. His, his hole. bee hole, cause yeah. he looks like a bee. Okay, Get that's it. pretty good. That's pretty good. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Did you see him touch? <laughs> He's like. <laughs> Come look it up. <laughs> but so this uh, this hits by the way too, which is pretty cool. What? And, it, and if you go off of cliffs, oh shit! Careful, man. Yeah, I know. I was trying to hit that with the what's what's his face. Why is there music like that when nothing's happening? Oh, that's what's happening. What did the leg come yeah, out? Oh leg shit! I didn't even see it there. Give me that leg, boy. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I really liked about that? What? The other day somebody was doing like these uh, posts. What the fuck? And they were like, when KFC gets to your house. Uh -huh. And it was, give me that like boy. <laughs> 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 I don't know why I thought that was funny. Okay, let's see. <laughs> oh shit, I missed something over there. You see that? Would you? That back there? Get in there. Thank you. Get up there. I'm not going back for that. Fuck that. And you'll probably get it on the way around anyway. There's actually a secret where you have to like... As far as I know, you have to just, like, shoot something with Griffin from far away, mm -hmm. and it takes a while. What? Yeah. That I'll, seems dumb. I'll, when we get to that mission, you'll, you'll see. That seems dumb, Steve. Don't kind be of. Dumb. Be cool. I'm not going to lie to you. Kind of. Be cool. Don't be dumb. All right. So, let's see. Now, you just j jump down the hole. What's in that hole? What's in the hole? This animal who I did see. Stop. <laughs> Steven's been singing nonstop Zaboomafu, and I don't understand why. Like, hey, all man. of a sudden, he's just, like, singing that little song. 
I'll uh, stand over there. Great show. What do you? I mean, I mean, sure, it's a great show, but it doesn't. I don't know why you're singing it. So shout much. out to uh, the Crap Brothers. No, what is it? Defunct Land. Oh yeah, Go- Defunct Land, dude. If you guys haven't started listening to Defunct Land, you're missing out. Cause that shit's so fucking cool. It's, uh, it's cool. Yeah, really interesting uh, topic. Steven really liked Action Park. Oh yeah, that which, one's ridiculous. Uh, people still can't believe that that was a real thing. Because of all the like, because all of the libel suits that they would have yeah had encountered. If you it. don't know, Action Park was like this fucking this theme park that was somehow legal. It was like a yeah. it was like very uh, what do they say? It was like it was like a poor man's Disneyland because you you could actually afford to go there because it was really cheap and stuff and like well, the the way that the patrons the people who used to go there described it was. You were you would go to Action Park a boy and come out a man because like oh that guy's done over there it's like war <laughs> no because it's essentially like if you went to any theme park it was whatever it was fine You're you did fine. roller coasters uh-huh. like that's how some people were like oh man I'm dope now because I uh, I went on a roller coaster make uh-huh. sure you're reading that book man make sure you're reading that there's a test later yeah book um, I didn't even know this guy was still alive and. Uh, you know, the the oh, whole thing shit. was oh shit. Oh wow! The whole thing was about the fact that that park was so littered with uh, places where you could kill yourself and maim yourself and stab yourself. Yeah. That they were like, if you could survive a day at Action Park, you're a fucking man now. Like you couldn't like people wouldn't go there with their like tiny kids. It would have it was more of a like a teenager type of hangout. And some, and I'll, I'll be quite honest. Some of that shit was dope. Okay. Like there was a rope swing where you just rope, like rode that rope all the way out, and then you just swam, uh, swung into some like water and shit, and that was fun. Um, but they said like, kids kept not letting go of the rope and then smacking back oh, into yeah, the so to the uh, to the launch pad and everything like that. And there was one where uh, <laughs> this guy tried to invent a loop into a water slide. Not like, the one that the employees didn't want to try. And they yeah, were getting... Well, the guy was like, "I'll give you a hundred bucks yeah. if you could do this." And there's like people would come out the other end with black eyes and, and then like, like nosebleeds and shit. nosebleeds and shit. And then they're like, and then he started testing it with dummies, and the dummies would come out without their heads. Yeah, and like <laughs> so, like yeah, all this shit happened. People actually, there was a guy that died at the park. I don't know how many people died at the park, but it was... oh well, I'm sure a lot of people. Yeah, it might have been a few people, but uh, they made a movie about it too. No, oh, yeah, with Jenny Knoxville. Well, yeah, with Johnny. But it Knoxville. was called. It wasn't called Action Park. It was no, called it was called else. something dumb. It was like, I, from what I heard, it, it wasn't was very dumb good. Dumb Park. Yeah, it it wasn't very good, and I I feel like it is kind of strange to like make light of the fact that like this park existed because a lot of people died or like got injured. There. I don't think a lot of people died. A lot of people got injured, definitely, but not a lot of people died. I, I think maybe one person died because they were on this. Um, there was this. I believe what it was. There was like some guy that a hit sledding his head. thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what it was. There was a sled that you could ride. And I think it was, was an employee. Downhill. I think it was an employee. Really? Yeah, and they were like, he was drunk too, so. Well, uh oh. Maybe, or maybe they just said that to be kind of like. If Boomafu was there, that wouldn't have happened. Well, no. Because he would be like, I can see this. I know what's going on here. Makes no sense what you just said. Just well. <laughs> I'm but, just trying to bring it back around. But yeah, there is a, there's a Zabumafu episode, and it's really interesting. Yeah, because not only does he do the parks and everything, he also does, like, TV that went... He, like... He does TV? Yeah, he does a lot well, of... Well, I mean, obviously, yeah. Defunct TV. That's... But I've only seen him do, like, Disneyland and rides and crap. No, no, he does stuff like... You remember that show Between the Lions? Yeah, I love that show. He did a whole episode of that. Oh, I gotta watch that one, because too. Because it was like... Between the Lions was a step up from Sesame Street, but it wasn't quite some of the other PBS shows, like uh, Cyber Chase and all these other ones that already had complex ideas... This was like a middle ground where kids already knew their letters, mm-hmm. but it was focused on reading and understanding nouns and vowels and stuff. And uh, like, remember that guy Cliff uh, Cliffhanger? Yeah, hanging, hanging from, from a, from a cliff. Yeah, and he just and that's why he's called Cliffhanger. There is this concept I did, right I there. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't even understand the the cleverness of the title. That's great, by the way. How she just comes out of the ground like that. I love that it's called the Minotaurus. Um. The, I didn't even get understand the comp, the complexity of that name until I was older. Are you being facetious? Because it sounds like you are. 
No, between the lines, like between the lines. Yeah. Like when you read between the lines. Well, they literally say that in the title. Between the lines, between the covers of a book. No. Take a look between the lines. They're, t- they're telling you all that no, shit in the very beginning. You still have to be a little bit clever to figure it out. Do you out. think so? Yeah. What the fuck is this movie? The guillotine. Oh, that's one where you, That's a great one. Whatever. Um, I'm going to save the stuff for Nero. Okay, all yeah. right. Save for Nero. Plus, Dante needs to have everything upgraded, so. Right away? I want to. Oh I'll, I'll grind. Man, when I finally got to Dante in this game, I was like, finally, this game's been unlocked. I felt like I finally had a devil trigger. That's how dope it is to have Dante in this game. Okay, makes no sense. Steve, sure. just stop shitting on it, all right? It's cool. But <laughs> all I said right, so cool. that's a chicken. That's a big chicken. And that's a horse man. Yeah, if you ever played Devil May Cry 3, you will recognize that horse. Uh, because it controls time. Okay, it's a it's a time controlling horse. time horse. Time horse, if you will. Well, what else would you call it? If it's a horse that controls time. Uh. Uh, time. Pony. Pony time. Pony time. There you go. Maybe that's why they gave him that book. <laughs> thing okay. is, that thing is ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, it's got boob physics and also. <laughs> And also, it's three people. But not three sets of breasts, just the one. I know. Uh, did and it have three chicken... sets of breasts, or did it have No, one? it just has the one. What about the chicken breasts? Oh! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Bok, bok. I'm choking. <laughs> okay, here we go. Just fuck them up, Steve. Just fuck them up. Yeah, that's the idea. Oh, this dude. guy, what's his name? Cavalier or something? The guy on the back? Mm-hmm. That guy looks badass, dude. Yes, he does. I know who you are. Mm. Do you? I'll be gentle. I'll be gentle. Oh, how did you know he said that? Because it's a fucking... <laughs> because I it's thought you such were just... an action moniker. Yeah, I was like, I thought you were just guessing. Oh, don't worry. I'll be gentle. And, or, like, if it's a if it's a dog, you'd be like, down boy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then at the end, he's like, sit. Oh, fuck. And shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I got you. Okay, do see, the hitchhawk, dude. I probably should have just do it without even being near him. I did it there. You know what? I oh no, I I'm getting hit. I just realized I should probably just be using the the double trigger stuff on my boys here and not nightmare because why not? Nightmare just did a bunch of fucking damage. Oh, did he? Yeah. All right, I wasn't paying attention. Look, he's a quarter of his life now. You gotta pay attention to a lot of stuff. You gotta look at character. between the lines. You know what I mean, like. Don't throw that back it? in my face. <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare. Don't you fucking, don't you fucking say look between the lines at me. <clears throat> oh shit. But anyway, he talked it, it, to bring it back to the fuck line while you're fucking this guy up, like I said you should. Mm-hmm. This is all my plan. Um, he uh. The, the series actually had like 22 seasons. It ran for a long time and it's still Which kind show? of in situ- between the lions. Oh, really? And he talks about how that, that like people absolutely loved it. There was nothing bad about that show. Like, it was always, it was always top of its, uh, like, people loved it. It was performed. Kids watched it. It performed very well. All that stuff. And so people, they like, still use it in syndication. They said it's a great way to get people to read because of the the way they present uh words and stuff like that yeah that's actually pretty the, what he was saying too was that it's pretty rare uh because with the boomafu they only had like five seasons or something and they just re-ran them yeah or and that's that was the part that was like you know it's educational television so people are like how much how much do we how need? many times can you say a b c d and do like the fucking alphabet and shit like that right Fuck. And you're like, well, Sesame Street does it already, so why do you need it again? That's kind of the argument there. But they said that there's no show that bridges the gap between those two parts of a kid's uh, uh, development, where he has to go from learning go away. learning his uh, alphabet to learning his uh, sentence structure and everything. Which is true. Except, unless you count story time with Kino, which... I, I don't know why people discount that show. That was, that was a great show. show. I honestly, like, as a kid, I, I will say that I enjoyed a lot of shows where they were just about, like, reading books. Like I reading felt, Rainbow? Yeah, I felt like that kind of content was, like, the shit I really wanted to 
see. But maybe, but see, but here's here's the here's the argument, right? So reading Rainbow, they're uh-huh. already reading books and shit, and they just read them to you. Yeah. But they're not necessarily going. Look, this is how you read. <clears throat> this uh-huh. is how you put synonyms together, and like this is how you do this and that. That's what Between the Lines did. It focused on that. Okay. So like oh, yeah, like a lot. Oh God. shit, dude, relax. You don't have more gold orbs, right? Nobody gave you a stylus. Oh shit. He hit you twice with that shit, dude. Oh, I know what the. F- oh, I was dodging, so it. Uh... Dude, you need to watch out! Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, get that. Start reading that book, dog. I know. I, th- I need to start reading that book. Should I just use Nightmare instead of... I've been using the other guys. I would use Nightmare because he does that thing where he, like, fucks him up as a come down. But Should you know I... you didn't, so whatever. I Why do you even book? ask me? Seriously. Sweaty hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a badass. Well, Let yeah, because you're doing pretty well. Let's see, hold on, hold on. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's almost fuck dead. Fuck him up. Come on, no, hedgehog. What the fuck? He went away. Did you see that? Get him. All right, here we go. All right, Steve, here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh. The horse took the hit, dude. That is fucked up. Yeah, because you fight the other guy later. Steve? Sorry, they show that on the trailer. So well, I, just, whatever. I figured that was fair game. He's like, hey, I took your horse, bitch. It's my horse now. It's time to mess this guy up. And he's like, what? 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 I'm going to tell mom. And he just, yeah, he's just I'm going to tell mom. Because they're all demons, get it? Mm-hmm. He's going to tell the demon mommy. He's going to go tell the demon mom. <laughs> demon mom. D-mom. <laughs> okay. So he wants to find Sparta. That's his, that's his goal is to find Sparta. Which is funny because who had it last? Uh, Trish. Trish. She lost that shit. No. So the the plan is to get the Sparta sword and give it to Nero. Oh, Can Nero wield this Sparta? But what's this, huh? What's this little thing? It's a toenail. Good thing it. Good thing it uh, didn't evaporate like the rest of the body. Well, yeah, it's not going to, because you know it's a video game. things are convenient because it's a video game every new guy gives you some powers it's cool all right so go ahead and throw the throw the cannon to that screen so it'll break it that's not what he does he does and nero nero shoots a bullet and dante shoots the guns into the screen so there you go i don't think that's what happens steve okay believe what you want so he first hits it and then smashes it through with his cane. I didn't see his cane go through. No, I'm saying you only get a small crack because it's like he's throwing his cane into the thing. Uh huh. Nero's is a bullet. It's a gunshot. Right. And then Dante's oh, Dante's is four bullets because he shoots both the guns. Now I understand. All right. Uh, we're gonna call it here, and Sweet. next time we're gonna play as Nero. Nero's. Yeah. Nice. Nero's. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. See you next time, guys. Mm-hmm.